water, agua, H2O. Whatever you call it, it's one thing that unites humanity because we all need it. Water is very important, but it's also very scarce. And that's why we really need to manage it. But we can't start working on managing resources for the future without answering a few questions about the water we have right now. So, how much fresh water do we really have? And how much water do we really use? What really makes a country water scarce? So what about the rainwater? Can we use it? How much does it cost? How much do we really pay for water? We need it, but it's scarce, so how can we manage it? I think, for me, the major issue facing water resources management in the region is knowing what resources we have, actually. One of the things that we've noticed is that the data um, information on the state of water resources is perhaps not as comprehensive as, as it could be, as it needs to be, because it's a, it's a truism to say that you can't manage what you don't know. You need data to do that. Data is absolutely critical, turning data into information. And that's one of the things that CERMES is engaged in, is the gathering of that data, identifying where there are gaps in, gaps in data, where we need information, and using that, going out and finding that, using it to try and plug those gaps, but doing it in a collaborative way as well. It's not just something that CERMES or the university can do by itself. We have to work with partners uh, such as water utilities, ministries of environment, ministries of agriculture, community-based organisations. We have to work collaboratively because it's just too big a job for us individually to do. But working together, we can identify what those gaps are, we can work out strategies as how we're going to go about filling those gaps, recognising the shortcomings that there are, and doing something about it. 